Baby boomer nails was always a dream of this client. Anna used to have short beaten nails, and since baby boomer includes white color, I just knew that it's not going to look the way she expects, so I always said, let's pick something else for now. And finally, after working together for three years now, her nails are not as short and beaten as they used to be, and we're going to do her first baby boomer nails. I will also show you how you can combine two techniques, polygel and hard gel. Let's get started. Hello guys, this is Anastasia and this is Anna's nails. She went to the beauty school as the model and she had two nail technicians working on her nails. Each nail technician did only one hand. As you can see, some of her nails had fallen off and two of them fell off like yesterday, so she even took them with her. The first and the most obvious mistake that we can see here is that there is too much product. We can see it underneath, we can see it from the top. So they simply applied too much near the cuticle, along the sidewalls and especially on the free edge. And Anna's nails are so short and tiny and also um, they didn't do long nails, right? So for this length, you don't really need that much product. If you apply too much on the free edge, it will do the opposite. Excess weight on the free edge will create excessive pressure and the nails may easily break or start lifting. And let me show you the thumbnail from uh, the seeker view. You will see how thick it is. And for this length, we definitely need like three times less than that. So let's remove the product. Anna couldn't remember which technology they used exactly, but my suggestion is that it was polygel with dual forms. Because normally when people learn how to work with dual forms, they tend to apply more product than needed. I did it myself too, when I did like first and second nail extensions with dual forms. And I also applied some regular nail polish on top, like a clear top coat. That's why I remove it with acetone first, then I push back the cuticles and we are going to start with product removal. I'm using carbide bit with green abrasive mark. Normally, I use blue abrasive mark for polygel nails, but since we have so much product here, we will need something stronger. I think we will need to remove the product completely because according to the thickness of the product along the sidewalls, we will also have some product lifting, and when we have that, we definitely need to remove it. By the way, the application near the cuticle was pretty good, so if this lady used three times less product, we would definitely get long-lasting nails and I don't think they would break so fast. Meanwhile, I continue product removal and the speed is 22,000 RPMs. After I filed off the excess product from the top, you can see this area on the right side where we have product lifting, and it's super important to remove it too. So I file around it first, and then I'm simply going to open the door and never close it again, because we're going to get rid of it. Then we proceed to dry manicure. I will be using flame-shaped diamond bead with red abrasive mark. The speed is 17,000 rotations per minute. First, I'm working on the left side. By the way, if you would like to learn how to work with electric nail file, how to do dry manicure, product removal, I have an online class which is called eFile 101. It's perfectly suitable for beginners or for anyone who wants to be more confident when working with electric nail file. 
I will leave the link in the description box where you can read more about the class, the program, you can see the pictures of the students' testimonials, and most importantly, to enroll in this class. I think I already posted at least 20 videos with Anna's nails, and sometimes I get this question. Why there's so much dust when you're doing dry manicure for her? This white residue that looks like dust is actually cuticles. And every single person has different amount of the cuticles that are spreading across the nail plate. Sometimes there's almost nothing, you just file it and there's just a tiny bit of this white residue. But with some nails, there's definitely more. Since Anna used to be a nail biter, so when a person is biting their nails, the body recognizes it as damage, kind of the same thing when we scratch our skin. As the body thinks that there was some outside damage, it tries to fix it as fast as possible. That's why you will see more excessive skin. So that's totally normal and also it depends on the skin type. Since Anna has dry skin, then it's more visible compared to oily or normal skin. But I have to confess that I actually enjoy working with this skin type, with these types of nails, because I like to do and to see this process of the transformation when we see beautiful clean nails afterwards. Then I push up the cuticles so it will be more convenient to trim them. And after that, we need to take off the surface shine using 180 grit buffer. There's not my shine really because we just removed the product, so I mostly remove it from the cuticle area where we had outgrown nail. If you can't reach it with a nail buffer, you can also use a nail file. Just make sure that it is at least 180 grit. And finally, I'm going to trim the cuticles and a little bit of aponychium with cuticle scissors. When I started working with Anna, the biggest challenge and problem for me was that she has hangnails and also she had many cuts and wounds near her cuticles. And I have to say it was quite stressful for me. I was always worried not to hurt or cut her even more. But now we can see that her skin is in much better condition. And by the way, she used cuticle oil all this time. We are done with the manicure, her hands look so pretty now. Let's do extensions and design of her dreams, baby boomer. I will be using poly gel and hard gel. First I apply dehydrator, let dry, and then I apply non-acid primer. Since we will be using poly gel and hard gel together, I also need a base coat. I prefer using gel polish base coat. This is the one by Cuba. It has medium consistency and is perfect for extensions as well. We need to apply a thin coat and cure it in LED for 30 seconds. Now let's do some magic. Since we will be doing baby boomer, we will need white poly gel. I picked this one. It has this slight shimmer in it. I'm not sure if you can even see it through the camera, but it has a little bit of glitter inside. So I apply it onto the dual form and then apply on Anna's nails. Since we are doing baby boomer, not just white nails, we are not supposed to apply them all the way from the cuticle. I apply it halfway because later I'm going to add some nude color. I am using coffin shaped dual forms, but since Anna's nails are so short, and we are not going to make long nails this time, then they will simply turn into square nails. As you apply the product into the dual form, make sure that you do not apply too much. And this is how we apply it onto the nail, and then I freeze cure it, then I fix the nail underneath, and after that I fully cure it for the whole time, which is one minute. I use this small lamp for freeze curing. We are going to do square shape, which is also the favorite shape of Anna. Fully cure for one minute when we're done, and then we're going to do my favorite part, which is taking off the dual forms. And we already have the nails that look almost perfect. We just need a little bit of retouch. I'm going to use the carbide bead with blue abrasive mark. I will file the excess product from the sidewalls and from the cuticle area. 
because I'm not going to file or shape nails later. So I'm going to work on the shape right now so it will be crisp and perfect. I'm also filing them a little short because I applied too much product so they were too long. Anna just had another accident in the kitchen. This is the wound from her work. She works as a chef and I think it happens to her almost every time we see each other. So I just cut the excess skin that already exfoliated around it. And now let's do the application with a hard gel. We picked light pink color. I apply the gel on the entire nail first and do not cure it. And then I take a little bit more and apply it near the cuticle. Now we only need to add the product near the cuticle in the center and also to make sure that we will not have any dip between the white and the pink. We want to have a perfect smooth surface and the apex should be on point. To do this, I recommend you to use semi-transparent pink color so we will be able to see the white underneath. If you notice that some product is too close to the sidewalls, it is better to clean it before you cure it in the lamp, because afterwards it is going to be a challenge. I like working with medium consistency gels because just like acrylic, they do not give me all the time in the world, like polygel. If you're applying it for too long, you will see that the product is going too close to the sidewalls or even touching them. If it happened, you can simply turn the hand around, but it is better to hurry up from the beginning and to try working a little faster. This method of creating baby boomer nails is pretty fast, even though it seems like we need to do uh, two parts of the product application, but we only need to do one filing and shaping. So I did all the filing and shaping when we applied polygel and I'm not going to do it again. That's why I take my time with this part. I'm not hurrying because I want to apply this gel as perfect as possible, so we will not need any additional filing or shaping. So once again, I apply the gel on the surface of the nail first. I do not cure it. And then I take a little bit more and apply near the cuticle and in the center. But Anna's nails are so tiny, it seems like I need just a tiny bit of gel for every nail. And after that, do not forget to fully cure it for one minute. And the extensions are almost ready. Then we only need to apply a glossy top coat. You can take the sticky layer off if you want to, but I decided not to do this. And I seal them with a glossy top coat and then I cure and we are done. Let me guys know what do you think and I was so happy to finally have baby boomer nails and I like them a lot too. If you would like to see more videos with Anna's nails because I recorded everything from three years ago, you will find the link in the description box to this playlist. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post new tutorials and nail transformations just like this one every week. See you in my next one. Goodbye.